So today we want to show you our office, the new office that we built. We spent about 10 months yeah. working at our dinette table and it was never enough space for both of us to use our computer at the same time. The laptop lids would hit each other. So when we were back in our hometown of Kingston, New Hampshire, I spent about a month redesigning the dinette and I'll show you the process I went through and kind of the final results of what we have today. And we've had about, what, two weeks of using it full yeah. time and it's worked out great. So much better, so much better. We're super happy because it's a functioning office. Plus we have a, a normal table that slides in and out and we can, we can eat, we can work at the same time, which is really nice. We'll take you inside and show you what it looks like. This is our office. We really like it because we, we just gain so much more storage. What I really like personally is the fact that we have more surfaces now. We have this sliding table which allows us to have some food while we work. Um, sometimes when we're in the process of working there's just no time to clean up so it's really nice to have dedicated desk space and it's also nice to have dedicated table. <laughs> and I mean we use this table for everything, for food, we eat, uh, we use it as maybe some, some additional uh, workspace as well. Um, I paint here, so it's, it's been really, really, really useful. Our main storage compartment is this shelving unit. You can see paperwork. Um, I use it for my props. We use it for our tools, equipment. And these bungee cords work really well because they keep everything in place when we travel. You can see we have this miscellaneous stuff and it actually doesn't fall, which is really nice. Um, storage is a problem in small campers and I would consider our camper relatively small. So we usually try to find more storage. So these chairs, they open up and again, we can store just more random stuff. We use it for more paperwork, more props, and just more, more storage is good. And another thing that I really enjoy is more leg room. I'm gonna try to put up on screen what it used to look like. Uh, this used to be the dinette seat right here. And we built this, this platform here to act as a kind of a bridge between it. And then underneath we have our uh, box for the drone, some other equipment, and this is spare food. So this is where our feet used to sit. Whenever I sit, Scott and I don't have to fight over the legroom anymore. It's nice and comfortable. Now, whenever we have a meal or we do whatever here, we can slide back and we will still have enough legroom, which is really nice. Having this desk also gave us all of this extra space in the middle where mm -hmm. we put, as you can see, our keys, our phone. We have a, a power strip back here to plug everything into. It definitely gave us a lot more space than we had before. Another important aspect was the ability to build it at the correct height for us. We're both pretty short and we found that most chairs, including the dinette seat, were too tall and it made our, it made us feel like we were when you're a little kid and you sit on a chair that's too tall and your feet kind of dangle, that's how we felt. Yeah. This this table height is just about right for us to sit fairly ergonomically correct rather yeah. than typing up here or way down here. Uh, but it probably wouldn't work for someone else who is much taller than us. One of the downsides that we've come up with since we've been using it for the last couple weeks is that we've installed this table underneath here. Mm -hmm. And I personally find it a little bit too low for eating. But it's... It's all right. It's, it's fine. fine. It's, it's fine. fine. No big deal. Have to make some trade-offs when you're living in such a small space. Something else I'd like to mention is the fact that it's slightly tilted. Uh, once I was able to spill something and instead of it dripping down on our uh, bins that are full of stuff, it actually dripped towards the edge and we were able to catch it, which was really nice. So it didn't make a mess. And I feel like um, at first you wanted to fix that, I think, but now we're reconsidering that. Maybe you would just want to leave it. Well, when I, when I built this, I, I installed this completely level. Mm -hmm. And what we found is that when this comes out, it has a slight sag because of the, the play and the bearings. And also when you put weight on it, you can yeah, see. Just a little bit. Um, and of course, depending on how we're parked, we usually try to park <laughs> pretty level. Yeah. But uh, my thought was to angle the bracket so that this would come out a little bit. It would mm -hmm. come out like this and then settle flat. Mm -hmm. 
But when she spilled that, we realized <laughs> that it prevents it from flowing that way. It may actually be fine to just leave it like this. Yeah. Another goal that we had when we were redesigning this is that when we have to eat dinner, I didn't want to have to clean up all of our computer stuff. So now it's really nice because I can set up my computer, my keyboard, my mouse, everything over here, have everything plugged in. I normally sit like this and I work. And then when it's time for dinner, I simply turn my chair yep. and we can slide this out and all of this stays exactly as it is. Over time, this setup evolved. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time just sitting here and looking at things. I disassembled a lot of the factory installed covers and panels to kind of get an idea of what I had to work with structurally. One of the main goals that I have is the ability to put everything back the way it was when we bought it. So we were able to take all of the seat cushions, the original table, all of the extra brackets and everything that we removed and we put those in storage. When we're done with our travels in this particular camper, we'll be able to take all of this out unless the new person wants to use it and put everything back the way it was. So everything is built to be very solid, but temporary. Another big consideration I had to keep in mind is that underneath these seats is also a lot of our equipment. This carpet is cut into different sections so that I can easily access everything underneath here without having to disassemble too much. So I think that's it. I think that's all we have to share with you today. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you for watching. We are going to get ready to head out of here and move on to our next site. Bye. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.